technology, the application of scientific knowledge to practical aims of human life, or as it's sometimes phrased, the change of manipulation of the human environment. Mass communication is the study of how people exchange their information through mass media to large segments of population at the same time with an amazing speed. Through mass communication, information can be transmitted quickly to a large number of people who generally stay far away from the source of information. Mass communication is being done through many mediums such as radio, television, social networking, billboards and newspapers. The internet allows people around the world to stay in touch with each other. The internet allows people to stay on top of breaking news with instant news alert from around the world. The internet also allows for fast, easy research. Lastly, the internet allows people to find answers to any questions they may have. Tinder is a location-based social search mobile app that was often used as a dating site that allows users to swipe right to like and swipe left to dislike. Tinder, originally developed by Hatch Labs, the IAC incubator launched in 2011. The app was launched in 2012. By 2014, it was registering about 1 billion swipes per day. Tinder is among the first swiping apps whose users employ a swiping motion to choose photo of other users, swiping right for potentially good match, and swiping left on a photo to move to the next one. There are few pros of using Tinder. The first one, establishing a profile is quick and easy. You don't have to invest a good part of your day on all the details for your Tinder profile. Second, using Tinder is quite natural. Meet people similar to the way you meet them in a bar. At first glance of their picture, you just have to swipe right to like them. And if they like you back, then you can start talking. So what are the cons of Tinder? Most people on Tinder will search for ONS or FWB. What are ONS and FWB? ONS stands for One Night Stand and FWB stands for Friends with Benefit. There are a few people who come to Tinder and search for friendship or just talk with random strangers. Most people there search for ONS and FWB. Judge based on appearance usually don't end well. Imagine dating someone who judge by your appearance first. Yes, you may chat with them before, but people on Tinder swipe left or right only through your appearance, especially those without bios. Third is catfish. Um, catfish stands for using someone else's uh, picture or identity and make it as your own. Usual when it comes to internet, there's many catfish. So catfish means you use somebody else's uh, picture or identity to make it as your own. The usual, the internet, you can just, uh, you can easily deceive people by a profile picture and nobody will know. Especially through social media, it's easy to deceive people. Even though you've gotten a chance to talk and know their personality, the person will feel deceived that you will catfish them. But lastly, it will lower your self-esteem. You might feel bad when people don't like you back. One of the serious crimes that happened because of Tinder app, as reported by RH, is stated where internet-related rap has increased in a staggering of 300% between 2010 to 2015. Regarding to the serious criminal case, in Malaysia itself, there was one criminal case where one of the female college students has robbed her Tinder date. According to Bukit Aman statistic, rap cases which involving online chat apps over the last six months have increased by almost 50% compared to the previous six months. This is according to Chow in 2015. In the first five months of 2015, rape by internet acquaintances made up 82% of sex offenders' modest operandi. Other such as influenced by alcohol was about 7%, students who played truant also 7%, and SMS acquaintances 3% trail far behind. So this is how Tinder app looks like. It is pink and orange in color with a fire icon on it. And it is at the bottom part of my social media section. When I click on it, you can see my profile. I have picked three of my pictures to be posted on Tinder. And if you click the arrow here, you can actually edit your 
profile. When you click info, edit info, these are the photo section that you can add. I choose these three, three pictures of me and then you can put on about me, uh, like your biodata, your jo job title, whether you're a student or you're working, your company, your education, you can add university, living in, what city, and etc. Then you click done. After that, you go to this icon which is a fire icon at the right top corner of your screen and this is when you can actually swipe right to people that you like and swipe left to people that you don't like frankly speaking i have been doing this as a social experiment and i've tried using tinder for quite some time now to see what is it about as it is also known as a social dating app so when you see this part of tinder these are completely strangers you don't know who this person are, who these people are but you can see their name their age and how many kilometer away they are from you so this is how it looks like this is z age 20 seems mysterious if you don't like him you can swipe nope swipe left if you like him you can swipe like right Then when you go to this top right corner icon on your screen, it is a message. This is actually where people who match you, people who like you and you also like this person will actually start talking. And you can see here, this Muaz guy, it says you match with Muaz. That means that I have swiped like to him and he also did the same. And then this is Amiru. He sent me an emoji. You can reply with also an emoji if you would like. <laughs> then you can go to your feed. And this is the people that you have matched with. Tinder also has this premium feature where you can actually see who have liked you. And you can see here 99 plus people have liked me. But if you click on it, it says get Tinder Go. You cannot actually see who likes you unless if you subscribe to this Tinder Go. You can subscribe for 12 months, 6 months and 1 month depending on how much you want to spend. You can spend 30 ringgit per month, 38 ringgit per month, and 64 ringgit per month. But I don't want to subscribe. You can just click no thanks. And that is basically how to use Tinder. Would you try Tinder? Why? Uh, oh, oh. Siguro pag 30 na ako, tapos wala pa akong gawa. Pero ngayon, hindi mo na, uh, enjoy mo na ang fangirl life. Do you know Tinder? Yes, I know. Um, what do you think of Tinder? For me, Tinder is a dating app yang macam meng... Bila someone tu dah tak ada... Tak ada... Ada alternatif. Dia akan pergi ke Tinder untuk mencari pasangan. Tapi, for me, uh, ada satu stereotype for Tinder yang macam... If you go to Tinder, bukan untuk serious relationship lah. You macam friends with benefit, macam you are looking for a sexual partner, I'm not sure that. Mm -hmm. That is my perspective. Okay. Do you think you can find a decent partner on Tinder? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. You know, and why do you think so? Uh, because, macam, like, kita tak tahu perangai sebenar dia. Uh, kita tak tahu macam mana, macam like, kalau kita jumpa dia, uh, macam mana kita, macam ni perangai dia, dia boleh ngam kita ke tak, uh, macam tu. Okay, do you know Tinder? Um, yes. Um, what do you think of Tinder? Um, Tinder is uh, an application that people use to, you know, find their partner, to not feel lonely, I think. Um, have you used Tinder? Um, not really, but one of my friends did because she was looking for a partner. Um, uh, will you ever recommend Tinder to any of your friends or family? Oh, uh, mantadahan na pang na. Ako pang na. Ako pa 
papakaila to papakaila da family ko sendiri o tay ka tambalot ko tentang pi apps sabab na pang ha aw ko kopi o percaya ti apps konsi ko um so have you heard of Tinder no so Tinder is basically a dating app um that when you swipe left mm -hmm. um you basically you don't like that person and you swipe right you like the person so if you like each other uh you get to chat with each other so if the person likes you but then you don't like the person you won't get to chat with each other okay. and you don't know if that person likes you back or not okay. uh you only know till that person appears in your chat box something like that after you know like a little bit of tinder do you think um, you will use tinder to be honest no even Why? after uh, you explaining it so on and so forth i don't think so because at my age i think i want to meet a person face to face you know directly not through the social media whatsoever. Uh, for now have you met a date or someone from tinder so i've been using tinder since i think almost two years and no, got matches but zero dates so far. Uh, do you think you can find a decent partner on Tinder? Uh, what do you mean by decent? De by decent, someone that actually wants to be in a relationship. In you a, mean in a, a serious in a good, one? Yeah, in a serious or a good relationship. But I think it all depends. Uh, sebab ada je kawan saya yang sampai sekarang dia orang, dia orang dia kenal girlfriend dia through Tinder and sampai sekarang for almost three years lah dia orang semua. So, but for me, I think tak ada luck kot. Dia actually depends kat luck kot sebenarnya. Do you know Tinder? Awak. Oh. What do you think of Tinder? Hmm, kami rasa Tinder tu nya sige macam uh, social app yang kita boleh pakai untuk chatting dengan strangers if kita rasa kita sukanya and orangnya suka, orangnya pun suka kita juga. So, will you recommend this apps to anyone? Um, I would just for fun i guess uh, i don't recommend you to like reveal your full name or give just like somebody your uh personal information um ich persönlich würde niemanden von tinder daten weil es ein bisschen so in meinem stolz graz glaube ich also ich finde es halt peinlich wenn mich jemand fragt so ja wie habt ihr euch kennengelernt und ich dann mit tinder antworten muss es zeigt so ein bisschen dass ich in real life nicht dazu fähig war einen partner zu finden weshalb ich auf eine dating app zurückgreifen musste und ja, das ist so ein Grund dafür, warum ich niemanden von Tinder daten würde. Aber für Leute, die damit kein Problem haben, ist Tinder natürlich eine super Möglichkeit. Also man kann in kurzer Zeit viele Leute kennenlernen. Man muss nicht wirklich eine Zeit zusammenkratzen, um Dates zurechtzulegen, um jemanden kennenzulernen, sondern kann es einfach bequem durch die App machen und dann, wenn es passt, sich treffen. Also ist Tinder natürlich viel Zeitersparnis. Aber es gibt auch eine Bandbreite an Partnersuche. Also finde ich, dass Tinder eigentlich eine sehr gute Möglichkeit ist, um Leute kennenzulernen. Aber ich persönlich würde es halt nicht machen. Tinder as a social dating application can bring both advantages and implication if used correctly or the other way around. Some may find it as a medium to socialize, reach out to new people for experience or just a mean of entertainment on their smartphones because they do not know who they interact with on the social media platform. Some people use Tinder just to abuse it by using the application to manipulate catfish and deceive people who are also using it for self-benefit and satisfaction. Okay. So, have you heard of Tinder? No. Okay, thank you.